Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters Community, is brought to you by Husqvarna Viking, keeping the world sewing for over 140 years. Hi, and welcome to Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters Community. I'm Mary Kate Carpetris, and I'm back with Karen Charles, event specialist with Husqvarna Viking. Hello, Karen. Hi. And Karen is here today to show us a bit of a dare how to use the sewing machine stitches in our embroidery machine right. to make this adorable quilted bag. Now, I looked at this before we started, and I said that this would take me you know, a couple of hours, especially since I'm not good with zippers. And you said, wait till you see. I mean, this is always my challenge. I don't have time to be spending a lot of time working on projects. And a lot of people who don't do uh, much sewing, they're not very comfortable putting in a zipper. So I want to show you some quick, easy ways to do it. So we're going to get right to Let's it. Let's do it. So we're going to go over to our screen. Instead of bringing in an embroidery uh, design, we're going to bring in a straight stitch. So we're just going to choose a straight stitch. And we're going to change the stitch length, make it a little shorter to 2.0. Mm -hmm. And we're going to select a box that's going to allow us to put in 80 of them at one time. We say OK. It brings in all the stitches. Just have to wait for it to do its job. And then we say OK again, and it's bringing it into an embroidery. So this is the line we're going to use to stitch our zipper. OK. The first thing we want to do is rotate it. And then we're going to move it up farther up into the area where we want it to be. And we're going to go into embroidery by pressing Go. So this is where the straight stitch line is going to go. And I can lay my zipper. If you look at the zipper, the tab is up. And the zipper, I always choose a longer zipper where the tab is out of the way because I don't want it to get caught into the stitching. And if you notice, when I, I'm going to put my foot on the pedal instead of using the start-stop button. And I'm just stitching the zipper like that. We have a tear-away stabilizer in our hoop. I got that thread I'm going to get rid of. And I'm going to let it do its thing. And it's finished. Well, that oh. was pretty easy, wasn't it? It's was really fast. Okay, one side. Now we're going to put the top of our bag in place. We're going to, we have our fabric. What we're going to do is we're going to lay it open like this. I have a stabilizer inside. And we're going to do the same stitch again. And this time, using exactly the same process, we're going to stitch this. Now, same isn't that easy? Place. Same place. We mm -hmm. haven't moved anything. And I'm still using my pre uh, foot pedal instead of my uh, start stop button. Not so hard so far, is it? No, not at all. So that's done. Now we're going to take this part and we've got the top of our bag done. Okay. Now we're going to go to the bottom part. And usually I'll just finger press this. So now we need to move our line. We're going to move our line to the other side of the zipper. And all we're going to do is squish it down in design positioning. It's really quick and easy. We're going to move it to where we want it to be. And you're just doing that by sight, essentially? Just eyeballing it. Mm -hmm. We want it to be the same distance. Now, we're doing events all across the country, and we do a little project like this where we're showing people how to do it. So if you've got any questions, there's always a way of finding this out. Plus, you can watch this video as many times as you want this to. This is true. So we've got it exactly where we want. We say OK. And now we're, the other side of the zipper is going to get stitched. I have my fabric, and you can see the same. Um, this is a fusible fleece that's inside, so I ironed it in place mm -hmm. just to give a little bit of body to the bag. And I'm just kind of centering it in here. And now I'm going to use my foot pedal to sew the other part. And as it's going, I'm just kind of watching and make sure it's stitching. So I don't even have to worry about where the zipper is. I don't have to worry about what's happening underneath. I'm just kind of keeping it straight. And if I ever want to, I just take my foot off the pedal. And now that's on. Okay. So I've got the whole front of the bag done. But I'm going to make a landscape bag, so we're going to add a few other pieces. We're going to use the same stitching line. We're just going to move it now. 
So this time, I'm going to take the line and I'm just going to drag it down a little bit. It doesn't really matter where too much. And I can lay another piece of fabric. Now this is not raw edge piecing. This is real traditional piecing. I can lay my fabric down and I'm going to sew it in place the same way. The next time I'm going to show you how you move the line so it's not even straight. I yeah, can make it be yeah. on an angle. Because right now we're, you're, you're still using the same settings. Same settings, same stitches from sewing. Mm -hmm. But you see how much easier it is and faster in sewing? Um, it, this would have taken me probably half an hour, 45 minutes. Instead it's just a few minutes. So this part's here and I just kind of press it down like that. This time we're going to make it a little more challenging. We're going to change the angle of the line. Okay. So I'm going to go back into design positioning and I'm going to rotate the line. And I just grab it, change the angle of the line, and then I'm going to go in and move the line down a little bit. So that's about, you see where it is? That's mm -hmm. where it is. Next fabric, lay it down, get it to be in place, and come out of design positioning into our regular embroidery screen. We're ready to start stitching that. Doesn't get any easier than this, does it? No, it really doesn't. So if I decided two fabrics was all I wanted to do, that would be fine. Now I'd be ready to finish off the bag. Mm -hmm. If I want to keep adding more, I keep adding more. I add another one, and I can add as many as I want to. I can actually add a pocket. You'll notice there's a pocket in the back, uh -huh. but I could have added a pocket here instead of this one. That could have been a pocket I could have put my hand in. Uh huh. So, but we're just going to leave it like this because I want you to see the completed process. So now we're going to go back out, and we're going to bring in same stitches, but instead of them being a straight line, they're going to be in a box. So I've got it all ready. Make it quick. And the last things we're going to do, if I wanted to add the straps in, then I would have put this tab in right now and I would move that straight line up here and sew the tabs. Because I'm afraid we're not going to have enough time, I'm just going to sew you how to put the back on. Okay. And then open the zipper. Now this is where it's important. You see that zipper tab that's hanging out? Yes. We have to pull that back in. Because if we don't at this point, it's going to get cut off and right. then we'll have no zipper. So this is, if you're going to make a mistake, that's where it's going to be. So we're ready to stitch. We've got our fabric. This is going to be my back. So I'm going to lay the back against it like this. And then I'm going to add my inside fabric. And it just doesn't really matter what they are. And I'm going to be ready to go in and stitch around the outside edge. And the bag is done. Oh my goodness. That's it. So at this point, I can use my start button or I can use my foot pedal. I usually like to use my foot pedal just like I was sewing. Does it offer you a little more control? It does because I can stop at any point I want to and say, okay, the fabric's not right, and then I can go in and move it. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's a really smooth, organized kind of seam. When I come over the zippers, I'm careful. I don't charge over them like you can see how easy it went over the zipper, mm -hmm. but you do, you'll feel it. The needle comes down on one side or other of the teeth, and that's all right. Now that didn't take too long, did it? After I'm finished with this, I take it out of the hoop. I cut around the seam allowance, cut away everything, mm -hmm. so I'm only left with a quarter of an inch, and I open it through the, the zipper on the other side. I take the tear there. flip it, and then that's what I've got. Do you believe that? It's amazing. And using stitches from your machine, mm -hmm. it really is that easy. The difference with the other bag, the purple bag that I did, is I added a decorative stitch. So let's bring it over here. Now, I have added a stop command in there. It's going to go back in and add a lot more stitches. But I just want to get to the point where you can see what the next result sure, is. Sure. So we're going to undo it, unhoop it. And we're going to take it out of the hoop and get rid of that. And you can see on the back, the stitches that are there, mm -hmm. this is the stabilizer that's going to get torn. 
Okay. Uh -huh. We just get rid of that stabilizer. And because we opened the zipper and left it there, it's right there. It's right there. So we're going to use our rotary cutter if we can find it. Do we have our rotary cutter? I guess we're... But let me just cut this away. Okay, I'm going to do it on this side so you can see. A rotary cutter works fine. I'll usually trim away any of the extra batting that's there. And this is the point where if you've left that zipper ha tag hanging out, you're in trouble. Right. Because it's gone. You can't even rip out the stitches. Now you'll notice for this one here, I have a pocket on the back. Mm -hmm. I also have a pocket in the inside. I could have just layered that fabric down and had all those pockets, as many of them as I want. I just want to get it to a point where this you can see This is a great it. way to start so that you get a sense of how it all goes together. Right. How you, when you turn it, that it, you know, becomes this Almost finished done. bag. Yeah, I know. It's exciting. It's like unveiling something really fabulous. Well, it's sort of like foundation piecing. You end up with all of this extra fabric right. hanging out and you don't know how it's well, going to emerge. And that's the way that the purple bag was done. Mm -hmm. The purple bag was done foundation piece, but instead of it being done piece by piece by sewing, it was set up with stabilizer in the hoop. And you lay one piece. It would show you where to lay the fabric down. You lay mm -hmm. it down. And then, so all we're going to do, and I can even open the zipper a little bit for you, flip it right side out to give you the finished project. So that's the back. This is the front. And you can see our bag is all ready for the fine tuning. You made a believer out of me. The zipper's in place. You did. I gotta Isn't say. Isn't that amazing? The tearaway stabilizer just gets torn away. You don't mm -hmm. worry about that. And now you can see you have a perfectly functioning zipper. And just clean that up just and clean it's it up, good to go. Get rid of the stabilizer. And it's not easy. Beautiful. So it'll work in a lot of different things. When you look at this bag here, this is another one that was done. This is one of the events that we've got going on where this zipper was on the outside. Some of them are, there's all different kinds of variety here. You'll notice here I added a decorative stitch. Still done in the hoop, and that's mm -hmm. a sewing machine stitch mm -hmm. on the embroidery. So you so can, you can make layer it, it. Yeah, you can make it as, as, as ornate, as you yep. said, pockets. You can spend as much time as you want trims, to. Trims, but or you can just, I mean, this was like, you have to leave for the party in an hour, and you need it a present. That fast. I mean, that's how I mean, fast it was. They make gorgeous presents, but mm -hmm. the idea of using your sewing stitches and embroidery is something most people don't think about. Well, it was that's great. That's why I, I enjoyed sharing it with you. Thank you so much, and you did it. I, I'm so <laughs> impressed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters Community, is brought to you by Husqvarna Viking, keeping the world sewing for over 140 years.